Good day everybody, welcome to another Creo tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create the car tire. This is my second car tire tutorial. So I've created a, a nicer tire this time. So this is what we're going to make. And I'll show you the best way to do that. So I'll just do a quick uh, preview so you can see see the quality of the model. And here's a rendering image. And this is the reference picture that we're gonna use for us to um, to try to match. Try. It's always good to work with reference so we can uh, we can aim to achieve a high standard. Okay, so let's get started. For the first step, what we need to do is define a few guidelines and middle lines for us to work with. So I've drawn this up already. I'll just go quickly edit dimension. Yeah, you need to really give a clear dimension of the length between the wheels and also the length from the bottom plane. So I've the both of the center of the these circles are lined up and they are two hundred and seventy five mil from the bottom and two thousand six hundred and seventy millimeters apart. So it should you should really define the guidelines for this so I'll also put in a center line so um, we can use that okay okay it actually doesn't match okay. but um, I'm just gonna go with it anyway so we just go ahead and you need to figure out your car tire sizes okay so I'll quickly explain that so basically, if you look up on the internet or look at wheel sizes, they will give you a number like this. And we, you gotta calculate the wheel sizes from this. So basically, this is the width, the width of the tire or um, the, uh, the tire, yeah, that's right. And this is 18 inch, so that's the, the, um, the diameter of the rim so 18 inch so it's we got to convert convert that to millimeters so it's 457 millimeters uh, diameter and they give you the width of the tire and 30 they don't give you the overall width of the whole tire so they give you this number which is 30 percent of um, I'm not sure about that, but the main number you need to know is the width of the tire and the um, the width of the rim. So it's 18 inch, and so we know that these two numbers are, are we going to use. So that's how you read the the numbers here. You can do a bit more research to find more about that. But okay, so we have our guiding lines and define our circle. Um, the outer circle and the inner circle for our wheel. Okay, the first step, we are going to draw the rim, the out, outer, outer uh, bit of the rim. And we need to create a plane to draw the profile on. So we we'll go to model, create a plane. Move this plane to the center of this wheel. So we're gonna put it right on to the center. So we have the guide link guide sketch there. So I think it should be one thousand four hundred. Uh, it's not. So we we'll take it down. So you need to calculate. Nine seven point five. So it's really important that you calculate this so it meets right on. 
I'm just winging it right now but for your car you should check that so all right so we draw our plane there so we can go ahead and create a sketch Okay, with that there, what we're going to go, um, what we're going to do is click on this reference and create a reference reference line. Click there to create a guiding reference, and also a center of the wheel reference there as well. And we'll close that. And I'm going to check to make sure that this is at the center. So I'll check the dimension, I'll click on there and there. Yeah, you really need to define the center for the wheel. So this number set looks pretty all right, looks straightforward. Um, I can change that, I can check on that later, but uh, just make sure you put on the center. All right, we're gonna start. Okay, the first thing we do, we're gonna draw a line from the side here across and we know the width of the rim is 335 from the wheel information so we'll put 335 because the rear wheel is actually larger on the Lamborghini than the front wheel so it's normal to have it quite larger and we'll put the dimension there Put a center line in the middle, so we'll only draw half and mirror it across. And I'll use this center line here. Now we need to figure out the width of the rim. So we'll go put a dimension from the center line to the line that we just created and create a dimension. And I know that. I know that the the uh, diameter of the the rim is 18 inch, so it's 457. We're gonna do up, divide it by two, 457. Divide by two equals 228.5. 228.5. Two, two, okay, there you go. We have defined the radius for the rim so that's good now we're gonna go draw a line across this line it will be a, an approximate so there's a website that gives you a goodyear.com.jm and we're gonna uh, do a rough drawing of this rim shape actually the, the this one here so we know that the rim, it's going to be flat here and it's got sort of like an S shape there and at the end there's a ring. So we just try our best to match that. And I'm going to make the the width of the tile, I'll make that about 45. We can change it that later on, but maybe 40. And the width, I'll make this about 155, 145. Maybe 140, 140, 135, maybe a lot less. I'll make it around here, so 125. Yeah, just work with the proportion, or maybe I'll make it 100. Yeah, you gotta sometime um, use your intuition to work with the size just have a look see what size you like to use I'll make that 50 all right that's fine okay you create that now go to the spline tool now we create the S shape like before so click there click there click there and also click there so create an S shape that looks like that and we'll just make some adjustments uh, 
I'll just do it again. I want to put another point at the end. So at the end of that um, line, we want to have like a yep, like a tangent end to the end there. Okay, something like that. All right, that's fine. We're gonna go change this to a construction line. And we're gonna offset this line. We're gonna offset, offset that to about the thickness of the room. I'll make it about fourteen. Make an extruder fourteen, and also connect this line to the end. And put. We're gonna clo close off this shape. Hopefully, it works. So yeah, sometimes you gotta switch the right one. You gotta move the mouse away to the right way, and close off that shape. And now we gotta mirror this across. So select all of that. Click mirror. Click the center line that we created and we should have something like that and just put in another center line here so we can revolve that let's go accept and now we will just go into let's go to revolve and click on make a revolve of this okay the center line doesn't seem to be there Okay, let me check this. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I found out the problem is that I found out the problem. We gotta use the right center line tool. We gotta use the center line over here to create the center line for it to show up. So create the center line again there, and now go to revolve, and we we'll roll the shape around. So we we'll select the axis here. And there you go. Uh, we create our rim there. So have a look at the reference photo if you need to. And we need to bring the wheel further out. Let's have a look at this. Okay, which is yeah, it looks fine. So first, the first step, we'll create that, and then we'll go in to create the tire later on, and also the face of the rim. There's one more thing I need to do, so I need to bring the rims out. To do that, go into the sketch, go edit, bring the drawing forward, and we use the guiding reference here just go ahead and delete that and click this here and click the reference from as the center plane there and go solve solve and we want to bring this out so just adjust this number we we'll change this number here we'll make that 600 Yep, looks like it's working, so make that 650. We want to bring it out all the way to the edge of this surface, so make that 670. Yep, it looks about fine. And I'm going to use the side of the menu to use as the guide. That's a bit too much. I'll make that 650, and we're good. Let's accept that. And let's go ahead and have a look. There you go, our wheels in place and it's all fine to go.